And what is up please? Welcome back to my channel, Jerry Her. I'm at the familiar place again. It's the, ah uh, yeah, cannot see the logo. Wing Hin Automotive Summer Hub Balakon Branch. And I have managed to snack my hands on this Toyota Harrier 2021 brand new unit but this is a customer's car so yes the logo is covered and in this video uh, I'm searching enough to understand the car and to bring to you guys that I feel I feel personally that this car is missing that five amazing features that probably Toyota will take note in this video and maybe will add in in their next iteration and um um Toyota so if you guys are watching um I'm ready to accept my check anytime yes and without further ado, let's go! There you go, the Toyota Harrier A car that is currently very hot selling in Toyota Malaysia I don't know for some reason people like this car a lot And it is, mind you, uh, not the cheapest Toyota that you can get uh, It's about 250000 plus minus uh. With that money, uh, I feel uh, there are features that I feel is missing Number one, uh, I feel, I feel this one the tires here, yes, 18 inch, nice looking rims. Yep, you guys can see this actual actual design is only available for the Harrier, but this tires is the regular all tires. What I mean is that this is not the run flat tires. Yes, which I think is a missed opportunity. Maybe Toyota can give us run flat tires, you know, in case you got kena paku ke whatever ke, at least your tire won't be punched lah, which is good. And this side on the rear passenger doors, you guys can see nicely chrome, right? But it doesn't have the lock and unlock feature. So you see, I put my hand like that. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. So only on the passenger side, at least you still get the lock and unlock. So on the rear here, Taada, which is, um, it is convenient to have, but unfortunate to don't have. Yeah. And in the rear here, you guys can see, don't get me wrong, it looks absolutely amazing. It has a little bit of a Lexus DNA in it. You guys can see this one strip slim tail lamps across here. It looks absolutely nice, but only tail lamps. Has no signal function. Let me show you. You need to start the car first. Okay, turn on the signal. Yep, signal is on. And check it out. Check it out, the signal lamp is at the bottom Actually, uh, if you guys want to know, uh, for a car this high, uh, if your signal is that low uh, It's a little bit hard to notice you are actually turning on your signal Because it's, one thing is small and one thing is at bottom down here Because as me driving and I already saw a car this big, right? I would obviously, first thing I notice Hmm, is this car turning on signal? I would check out this light here But unfortunately, the light is down there and, and in front also And this is what the front signal lights looks like You guys can see It replaces these two DRLs into signal lamps So when you turn on your signal lamps The DRLs will turn off And it will become this signal lamp But But For this car For this price For this caliber Why can't they give Sequential Which they have in their Lexuses mm, Maybe they want to reserve the special feature for the Lexus uh. But then again I feel if this one have that Sequential one, it will look absolutely amazing And in the inside Okay, let me just turn off the signal And the inside, don't get me wrong Everything looks absolutely amazing But then, but then it's this This screen here This screen is unfortunately unlike other markets Where they have big large screen And looks absolutely nice Unlike this one, it's, it's not covered full. There are some empty space here. But then again, when you think about it, empty space, ah, um, for me, ah, I will put the magnet here where I can put my phone here so I can at least have my phone attached here and on top of the screen here. Lah. But that's another story. Lah. I just want to say that this one is not full, which is unfortunate. And the next feature I want to show is up here, actually. So you guys can see, yes, it has panoramic sunroof. You open. Looks nice, right? And of course, it has that electrochromatic feature. If you guys didn't know, you press and you can see that see through. And you, if you press again, it's unable to see through. This is a very nice feature. But, uh, but, uh, um, I press again, uh, it doesn't open. This is as it is, it is a sunroof but unopenable. So you cannot get fresh air from the top. You can get fresh air from the side and not the top. So yes, missed opportunity Toyota. 
Okay, now look in the front here. As you guys can see, everything looks absolutely amazing, right? You guys can see this shiny, chromey bit here, this leather padding here, leather armrest, and it is absolutely humongous. Uh, mind you, you see my hand can put three more hands here. Um, if you have three hands, then lucky you lah. Nice. And then the, the space here is also absolutely ginormous. Uh, this one is the owner's car, so we don't touch anything inside. But uh, but uh, I want to comment one thing. Uh, if you guys notice, uh, um, the space. Yes, the space is as much as you can see. Yep, because down here, if I want to complain, uh, I really want to complain, uh, I would wish that Toyota maybe give another space here because this is absolutely humongous. Maybe they can put a slot here to put some stuff here, right? And because uh, only your phone, uh, let me let me just emphasize here because this is a uh, wireless Qi charging here, right? It's included. It's good. It's wireless charging, right? But uh, when you put a phone here, and that is pretty much the space that you can put, lah, is this and two cup holders and that's it it's like the the space compartmentalization is not as many as i expect this big car as it is to have so yes that is one unfortunate feature but cannot complain now you guys can see this one has that nano x uh, air filter technology from panasonic which is absolutely amazing la. this car i don't think have la, but yeah la. But this rear view mirror, you really cannot complain lah. It looks like regular rear view mirror, but as I turn on this button, it becomes a screen and they call this a the digital rear screen. Yes. So in case there are passengers, you know, big and tall, big size, cover your rear view as you sit here and you want to see the regular one, it's like, oh my god, you guys, all I see is your head. So I turn this on, it becomes a screen and the camera, mind you, is separate from the reverse. Ah. Let me just go into reverse. Ah. Go to reverse, right? You can see this is the screen for the reverse. But as you turn here, this is the screen for the rear because the camera is separate, you know, it's two digit different camera. Let me just put back to P. Okay, and then you guys can see the camera is actually there, up there, not down there. Down there, I mean, I'm talking about the behind, right? The down there is for the reverse camera. Up there is for the digital screen, which is this digital screen. Oh my God, I now only notice. You guys can see all four has this indicator here. It means that all four is auto up and down. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And also this one is also padded. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And there you go, my wonderful... Oh my god, my hair terkeluar. There you go, my wonderful ladies and gentlemen. The features that I feel is missing from this Toyota Harrier. But, but if you guys are interested to watch my Bahasa version where I emphasis and I talk about a lot of the absolute amazing features about this Toyota Harrier, I'm going to put the links down below and maybe if you guys are interested to see more of me talking english instead of the bahasa one do give me a like and comment below to show some support and maybe i'm more motivated to do it in english let's see whether english or bahasa will win <laughs> and that is all for now thanks you guys so much for watching and if you guys like my content give me a i'll see you guys in my next video ciao okay it's time to return people's car Removing. Oh, just so you guys know, this one, ah, I write my own one, you know. If you guys see the circle here, the O here, it's very hard. I wanted to turn a big round, but tak jadi lah because you know my hand is as much as it goes. And also, if you guys notice, the marker is the square type one. So as you turn on this side, it becomes slim. So I wanted to make the whole circle into a very even like this, you know, even size. But you cannot lah. So it's like I draw here, uh, sangkut, draw here, uh, sangkut. So it becomes like that. So yeah. Fun fact, the more you know, 